Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Now we got a robot called Charles that they say can read your mind. What? Are you serious? Well, let me tell you what's going on. Professor Peter Robinson from the Department of Computer Science and Technology said, we're, we've, they're very interested in seeing if we can give computers the ability to understand social signals, to understand facial expressions, tone of voice, body posture, and gesture. Matter of fact, we thought it would also be interesting to see if the computer system, the machine, could actually exhibit those same characteristics and see if people engage with it more because it is showing the sort of responses in its facial expression that a person would show. So here comes Charles. Who? Charles. Yes, a robot. However, Charles hasn't quite perfected the art of human emotion. Not just yet, they say, but his, as his control programs are not quite fine enough to look completely authentic, according to Professor Robinson. But it is pretty and remarkable, actually. He said, our control programmers are just not quite fine enough and the monitoring of the human face weren't using at the moment. It's just not quite good enough, but close. It, so it looks uh, fairly natural, maybe not 100%, but it definitely is pretty remarkable what they can do. Most people, when they see this, find it slightly strange and it's actually an indication that people are very good at seeing something that's wrong in somebody else's facial expression. It could be a sign that they're ill or something else, okay? Now, people are absolutely fascinated, though, by robots. Put a robot on display at an open day, people will crowd roundabout to flock and see it. However, despite the fact that technology is advancing at light speed, folks, seriously, um, at this very high rate, Professor Robinson remains confident that robots will will not take over the world. You just pull the plug, he said. Yeah, it's not that easy, though. Once you turn these AIs loose and they start rewriting the programs, once they start writing their own language and communicating with themselves and shutting the humans out of the program, which could easily happen because they're being programmed to have that type of capability. Um, anyway, it's, 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 it's weird what's going on with the AI, but it's deeper than that. And it's even way more spiritual than that. You see, when you go to the Bible, you can read, if you read in the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation, you know that's the chapter of the mark of the beast. That's the chapter of the Antichrist and the false prophet. But it's also uh, the chapter of the, uh, the image to the beast. And this image to the beast does have the capability of speaking, of making decisions, as causing other peop humans to be put to death. Matter of fact, here's what it says in Revelation 13. It talks about the, you know, the beast shall rise, and it talks about uh, it's speaking blasphemies, and the power was given on them to continue 40 and 2 months. It talks about all these things uh, between the Antichrist and the false prophet. But here's what really gets weird. If you go to Revelation 13, verse 15, it says, and he had power. Talking about the uh, Antichrist. Antichrist has got a lot of power, lying signs and wonders. So does the false prophet. But in verse 15, it said, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast. I believe it's some kind of AI robot that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, and hear his wisdom, let him that hath understanding Count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score 
and six or six 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 this image of the beast will have the capability to comprehend to re- to reason it, it's going to be programmed with the i'm sure with that global elitist uh ideology and it will then do the bidding of the antichrist because it will can make decisions based on the information it's fed whether or not People are uh, following the beast or not. This is very eerie, but this is where we're at. Finally, where we, we can see it now, the technology is caught up with the prophecy. We're in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. What a powerful time we're having here at Hear the Watchman. There was over 200 and some people come to the altar this morning in an incredible, uh, incredible service, really. And we just had unbelievable amounts of people uh, coming here to this conference have been incredible. The speakers have been dynamic. And then uh, I don't know the total people baptized. I'm still waiting for them to give me the number, but I know it was over 100 people. It was just, it was an incredible, incredible thing. God is really moving. People have been saved, healed, and delivered. And some of the greatest sermons I've ever heard in my life has been delivered here this weekend. Unbelievable. Time's running out. We got to get serious. We got to get people saved. We got to get people set free. People got to have their eyes open to the reality that we're living on the edge of eternity. We're at the brink of the beast. Something biblical's going on here with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Are you saved? Don't miss tonight's live broadcast. Starts at 7 p.m. Eastern at 7 p.m. Eastern. Live at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also on this YouTube channel. And the direct radio line tonight. Are you saved? 